Hey guys, it's Trevor Daly. Hey, I'm back for another quick Lightroom video. As I, those who have been following me, I like to share about one a week, and usually I try to keep it real nice and sweet and short. So I'll jump right into this one. Guys, today basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can uh, make the colors in a photo just kind of really punch and kind of zing. Um, I actually picked up this tip from Levi Sim over on the Photo Focus website about a year ago, and it's a great little tip that you can use to really just bring that extra punch to your photo. So basically the way it works is over in the camera calibration menu. So actually, let me just go ahead and close that. So you can see the menus here on the side of Lightroom. Camera calibration menu, if you just scroll on down to the blue primary and take the saturation slider and just kick it up. I mean, you could either bring it to 100 or 50 or 75 or whatever, but you'll see as I do that, the photo or the picture just kind of comes alive. So here's before and here's after. It just brings those colors, just makes them really glow. Now, you could do this with vibrance as well. Um, obviously you wouldn't kick that all the way to 100, but maybe in the 35, 25 region, somewhere in that range. Um, but this blue primary saturation slider, it works on so many photos and it works nice just to make those skin tones glow. So let me just show you this one here again. Here's saturation. I'll kick it up. And so here we go, before and after. Before and after. I'll just do a couple more real quick here. Here we go, kick it up. And we got before. Oh, it's coming. There it is. And after. So of course it's going to uh, change the color of his shirt a little bit as well because he's ha had that blue shirt on. Um, so it's really going to make that, that glow. But you can see it. It doesn't just do the blues. It does all the different colors. I mean, again, look at this one before, right here, and after. It just kind of makes everything just nice and, and gives it that extra zing. Here's one picture with uh, we have some blue sky in it already. So if you're shooting and you got a little bit of blue sky, again, kick that up. And you'll see not only does it make the other colors just nice and punchy, but it also gives you that nice saturated blues as well. Now the before on that one did have a little extra uh, um, added graduated filter on the top, so that's why it was so different. But um, anyhow, hopefully that tip was useful, you guys. Like I said, you just go right over to the camera calibration, blue primary, saturation slider, kick it up to 50, 75, 100, something like that. If you really like it, rather than doing that on every single photo, just create a preset, make sure the camera calibration is selected, and I would say the only thing selected in this case, and just apply it to all your photos at one time. So hopefully this tip was useful. Hopefully you use it. Thanks, Levi, from Photo Focus for sharing that with everyone. And uh, you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks so much.